This is how to create a YouTube remix. So what you want to do is you want to go to one of your long form YouTube videos. And then when you go to this video, you'll see that below the video, there is this button called the remix button. Okay. And what the remix button allows you to do, if you click on it, it will allow you to take a clip from this video to make into a YouTube short. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and click edit into a short. And then what it will do is it will take me to this screen where I'm able to select a 15 second clip a 15 second clip or less. If I wanna go over 15 seconds, what I can do is I can click this button up here in the top right-hand corner. And what that will allow me to do, if I click on that 15 S, 15 seconds, it will give me upwards to 60 seconds. Now at the bottom here, I can adjust this. If I pull on this tab here, I can adjust this out and I can select a longer clip. So I can select anything that is 60 seconds or less, but you can't do anything over 60 seconds because if it's over 60 seconds, then it won't be a YouTube short. All YouTube shorts are 60 seconds or less. So that's why you have a 60 second cutoff. So I'm just gonna select this first part, the 60 second part, and I'm gonna click next in the bottom right-hand corner. When I click next, what it's gonna take me to then is another editing screen, a place where I can insert text, where I can, add filters, and you'll see all those different options here at the bottom. So I can add text to it, or I can add a filter to it, or I can edit the timeline, or I can add a voiceover, whatever I want. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with my clip. So I'll go ahead and click next at the top right-hand corner. Then once I click next in the top right-hand corner, it will take me to the description screen. This is where you give your video a title, a description, you categorize it. So I'll wait until there. So at the top here, I can go ahead and I can add the title to my video. So the title to my video is, now if I wanna change the thumbnail, I can't add a custom thumbnail, but if I click this button in the top right or in the top left-hand corner here, that little pencil icon, what that will allow me to do is select a custom thumbnail in the sense that I can choose a, I can choose a frame or I can choose a section of that video to use as the thumbnail. So I'm just going to have this part right here be the thumbnail of this video. If I'm happy with that, then I can go ahead and click done in the bottom right-hand corner. Okay. The last thing that you need to do is you need to set the visibility settings. Okay. And the audience settings. So I want my visibility settings to be public because I want everybody to be able to see this video online. And then what I want to do is I want to select my audience. And for my audience, I want to do, no, it's not for kids. Now, if your video is designed for children, you can do that but most videos are not gonna be for kids. So make sure to click no. Okay, once I've done that, I've added my title, I did my thumbnail, I chose my visibility settings and I chose my audience. Now I can go down here and click upload short. Okay, upload short. Now, if I wanna check the status of that video in the upload, I can come back here to my home screen. I can click on manage video and I can see that, that YouTube remix, that YouTube short being processed and uploaded now. So if you're not seeing it reflected, it might just be because it's processing. I'll wait for it to process. And then I'll show you what this new YouTube remix looks like. And one of the amazing benefits, okay, now that the video is uploaded, it is now present in my shorts tab. Okay, so if we go to my shorts, I can see the video right here. I'm gonna click on that video. And the really cool thing about YouTube shorts is that when you create a YouTube short out of a long form YouTube video, it will actually give you this button right here. Okay, this button right here and it says created from creator tutorials. That's the name of my YouTube channel. If I click on that, what that's going to do, it's going to lead me from that YouTube short back into the long form YouTube video. So this is a great way to promote and drive traffic to your long form videos using YouTube shorts, using YouTube shorts. This is a really, really powerful method to do it. And it's really fast. You don't have to edit the long form video. You can just edit your long form video into a YouTube short without re-downloading the video, editing it again, re-uploading it. You just use the YouTube Remix feature and it does all that for you. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it was informative. If you'd like to see more tutorials, if you have any questions, please put them down below this video. And if you'd like more tutorials like this, please subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you.